an outfit, outfit check. Um, and this is my script, which as you can see, I have not yet go through the other half um, working on the queue list. So theoretically, I should have all my cues on a spreadsheet, uh, a queue list by now, but I have only gotten through half of the whole script, which is 60 pages in total. Um, it's a 90 minute show. And that took me around five hours yesterday. So I should have started earlier, but I did not. Anyhow, we are just going to go to our black box theater right now and start a pre-queue. And we're gonna see how it goes if I feel comfortable just start pre-queuing without the queue list and work on the queue list with the pre-queue. Um, I can do that or I can finish the first half of the pre-queuing and go back to my queue list, finish my queue list and then move on to a second part pre-queue. So whichever way would work, Probably the first one would cost me less time, but I'm probably going to be there all day, so we love it. Okay, this is days later when I'm trying to edit this video, and I just feel like I did a terrible job of explaining my lighting design process and lighting design in general, and also like my experience with lighting design. Um, I took lighting design in fall term, and because we do not have a lot of lighting design students on campus, uh, I designed two shows this term after taking the course. So this show, Pretty Filthy, is actually the second show that I am designing the lighting for. Uh, however, it is the first musical that I've worked with. I also feel like I need to explain some of the terminologies that I was using. So if you are more familiar with theater and light and design and stuff like that, you can like skip over this part. I'm probably not uh, doing a good job at explaining this anyways, <laughs> but I'm trying. Uh, my lighting design process is first to read through the script and basically get a feeling of what I picture this show to be. And then I'll have conversations with the director. Um, the directors will also tell me what their visions are. And, and we'll usually create like a mood board of some sort to just like drill the ideas in. And after that, it's going to be my job to go through the script and place some cues. And a cue is basically uh, where stuff happens. So if you want this light to come in, you have to build a cue for it. And after I know where roughly my cues are, I should probably have a cue list, which is just like cue number one, uh, number 59, number whatever. And then it says like on page what and what the description of that lighting cue is. So then I and the stage manager has a uh, just an integrated piece of paper that they can refer to. And what I was talking about in the intro is basically I have placed all the cues roughly into the script, uh, but I have not gone in and actually type up the cue list. And basically to sum it up, I was behind schedule. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Before we get started, I have to go deal with my morning coffee addiction. This is the magic sheet that I just printed out and also the lighting plot. Um, I have an older version of these, but we updated some of these lights, so just to make life easier, printed out the whole new version so that I, I don't get confused. And for this show, as you can see, the stage is not that big. So we basically divided the lights up into like nine. And then these are like special ones that are put in to do different things. And we have also two on each side of the bombs so that 
when people are standing here, they can also get lit. And there is also LED strip lights behind the band so there can be a wash and uh, yeah, that's our lights. Hey! Going dark. Yeah! So, this is like how I'm gonna work for the next, um, like next five hours. This is the queue list that I have for now. I didn't print it out because there probably will be some changes and I will be adding some details here just to keep on track of what's going on, what I did. And yeah, we are going to start with Q zero zero zero. It's been two hours and I am on queue 65. Okay, you can't really see it. I don't know if, if this is good. I feel like I'm moving a little bit slow because right now I have 155 queues um, with only odd number queues. So around 80 queues, but that's only half of the play and I feel like we might be staying here for a while today. My favorite cue right now is the beginning of Becky and Bobby's first song, What If I Like It. Um, I'll have to find it. I think it's gonna be around here. Yes. Okay. So this is like a really nice feeling homey vibe the warm front light looks so much darker in real life than it does on camera right now um and everything looks more purple <laughs> and the next cue yes we add a little blue and then the next one we got a little bit of front light that does not supposed to look like green, but it does look like green right now on camera. Um, and then the next one, I think we go back to the blue. Yep. And then after that is going to be very purpley. And there is going to be a live feed camera filming the stage left bomb projecting on those TVs. So hopefully I don't have too much spill on these TVs so the audience can see what's going on. Um, but that's just gonna be for later adjustments. Right now, I am so proud of this song. It is officially 9 p.m. <laughs> I have gotten through half of the script and right now we are at Q155. I don't have the rest of the cues written down and through this whole day of working, I feel like I would work faster with my cues written because while I'm pre-queuing, I genuinely don't know what how things work. So it's like really hard to design and pre queue at the same time so I like I feel like I should have the other half just like typed out so I can just follow along um but that's gonna take a long time and I'm really debating on what I should do but I think we still got enough time to do everything 
my goal would be by the end of tonight, I have the rest of this script queued on my spreadsheet and come back tomorrow to finish all the pre-queuing. Um, I also just realized that I don't have to have everything so precise written on this script because that's how I have been and I forgot the fact that Tech Week is like a chance for us to correct everything. Yeah, and I think for the next half, I can like work less hard on stuff and hopefully we can get through faster. So if you're curious, this is how my day has been looking like. We're at day two and it's snowy. <gasps> I swear, this is like the two coldest days that we've had in two weeks. I thought winter was over, but apparently it's still there. I am officially locked out. No! <laughs> I just got in and apparently today I am the only authorized individual in this building. <laughs> we had to have my instructor send um, our safe and security an email indicating that I can walk, I can work here today. And it just took forever. <laughs> but we love it. It works out eventually. Yay! My theater is back! The, the process of turning everything on. Oh! Oh. There we go. Good morning. It's not morning anymore. It's almost two. Go in dark. Oops. No. Go in dark. Thank you, dark. Finish my work. Ah, I have two hundred and seventy-seven cues, but in odd numbers, so not that many. Well, for a ninety-minute musical, I don't know. Later today, actually, in like a few minutes, I am going to meet my director, and we're gonna just go through some of the cues, see if the vibe is right, so that we don't have to like do huge changes tomorrow during tech because we have really limited time um yeah we <laughs> i'm so done in this room this is the end of the show it's my last cue wow pov when you're done with your lighting and have went over all the lighting cues for another four hours with your director and ready to go home, the strip lights refuse to be turned off. I don't know why. I ended up unplugging them. Hopefully they don't get killed by that. I am so exhausted. I've literally done zero work over the weekend. But it's fine.
Hey, it is Monday after the show already. <laughs> and I just totally forgot I was recording the process, <laughs> being the most responsible content maker ever. <laughs> so the show went well. I went to watch it on Saturday night because I was not able to get a ticket on Friday night because that theater is only allowing 25 audience per show. And yeah, we got sold out. Um, but it's really sad because 100 people at most get to see this show. And it's an awesome show, honestly. I don't think a lot of the shows are about porn. Just, right? And my lighting design professor is watching the show right now at this moment. But just to recap, um, on the past week of basically like it was hectic overall, I finished pre queuing the show on Sunday night and I had the director coming in, uh, going over the show and she made some small changes or something that she likes or she doesn't like. A Monday night, which is tech week, um, first day of tech, what I found out was that a thrust theater is totally different than a proscenium and that you have to use a lot of sight light because the audience from the side are gonna take the sight light as front, the front light. And if you don't have sight lights, they're not gonna be able to see actors' faces and that just suck. Sometimes, some, most of the time, like sometimes if you purposely don't use front leg, that's okay. But then if you don't get to see their faces all the time, it's kind of weird, right? Um, so that's what I learned. And basically Monday and Tuesday where we uh, did half of the, uh, the first half and the second half of the show, um, I just have to keep adding side lights. <laughs> I remember I had a mental breakdown on Monday just because of that realization and it's been it was pretty tough because it's kind of a process where you have to accept that your work does not do the purpose um and you have to like change it and all that beautiful process all the all the design concept it's just like being crushed all at once so it was really tough to accept at first, but I made the realization and I'm glad I had it before the actual show, of course. And I was able to do changes Monday through Thursday. I did a few notes uh, before Friday opening night. <laughs> Everything went pretty smooth after that. Although I don't think I can show the recording publicly of the production, but I will definitely put some pictures of the show to like show my lighting and the awesome costume and the blocking, the choreo and the actors. I am just like fascinated by this whole production and it's been it's it's been kind of incredible to think how we made this far because it's basically a student production and a very young, um, relatively inexperienced cast. And I don't think I am an <laughs> experienced lighting designer as well. Um, so it's been great. It's I had a good time working with everybody. And that is the end of life of a lighting designer for a horror musical. <laughs>lighting design professor. I have not read it yet, so I thought it would just be nice to read it with you. So, he says, Ife saw the show last night. I thought your work was quite impressive. He spelled thought wrong. 
I thought your work was quite impressive. It was no small accomplishment. Your cueing was particularly well done. Your sense of timing and movement is lovely. Let's talk in the spring about what's next. If you want to pursue this further in a serious way, or if you just want to have fun with it, or if you want to move on to something else, happy to help you in any direction with to take. I also can talk more about your work on this show, what I thought worked, and what I thought could have been better. In the meantime, have a great break and see you in the spring. Aww.